He say that I blow his mind every time I'm activated. You just tryna catch a vibe. CC got you fascinated. Jump up on the brand new ride. BMW riding, baby. I ain't gon' tell you lies. That's just how we roll. You know what it is? What it is? How we roll? You know what it is? What it is? That's just how we roll. What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. Hope you guys are staying nice and warm. I'm trying my best to Scorpio because it is cold out there. I apologize. I know it's been taking a little while to get these videos uploaded. Y'all probably won't see it, you know what I'm saying, because I'm on this end looking at it, but it is taking forever for these freaking videos to upload today, you guys. So, Let's get into it. Let's see what it is that Spirit wants you to know. You see, I already got a little Spirit going. So let's go, Scorpio. So someone, Scorpio, I feel like really wants your forgiveness. Now, for some of you, the reason why this person wants your forgiveness is because they feel like there's a type of deadline, okay? Someone here feel like they're on a time clock. And the thing is, your time is about to run out so someone here could have been given some type of deadline some type of time frame some type of schedule you know like all right you got to do this like by then we expect you to do this and that and this is someone who feels like they didn't make that obligation okay they didn't finish when they were supposed to be okay they didn't complete something when they were supposed to okay somebody feel like time is running out and this energy i'm picking up on i feel like this is kind of like a, a continuation of the reading i did just a minute ago about someone feeling like, you know, they ain't gonna be able to get their shit together this lifetime. But shit, next lifetime, yeah, they just def definitely be fucking with you. So this is someone who feels like they can't fulfill this contract this lifetime. You know, and someone here, they really want your forgiveness because this is someone who I feel like once something was made a word to them, like they were really trying to hurry up and catch up. But I feel like Scorpio, you was like way too far gone. Like you was way ahead of this person. And it was just no way this person was gonna catch up with you. Now, I feel like for some of you, this person admires you. I feel like you're going to be put on a pedestal. I feel like you're going to be put in a position where you're going to be in the spotlight. And the world, other people are going to be admiring you, this person. Admiring you. And so is this person, okay? They think the world of you, okay? They really admire you. They really cherish you. But the problem is, Scorpio, they just can't give you what you need. You want somebody that can give you everything that you're going to give and more, Scorpio. I don't know about you, but I know how much I can give and how I love. So I really want somebody that's going to be able to do that 10 times. Like, she'll smother me a little bit. You smother me a little bit, and you know we don't like to be smothered. But I feel like just smother me a little bit, really know, okay, this motherfucker must love me, you know? Like, that's, this This is someone who just feel like they can't give you that time and that attention and dedication that you really deserve because you deserve somebody that can do that. And they feel like they just can't give it to you. And for some of you, this could have been a one-sided relationship where you was giving way more to this connection than what they was giving you. That like there was no reciprocity in this connection. Okay, it was definitely a situation where you could have been breadcrumbs. This person could have gave you just enough, you know, to keep you around, but they really can really give you what you need. And see, the fucked up thing about it is, Scorpio. Sometimes people will do that. They know they got something good in us. You know what I'm saying? And versus just letting us go, they'll just hold on to us, breadcrumb us, you know what I'm saying? Make us think, make us delusional as fuck and feel like we're getting everything that we want and deserve. But it really don't be enough. It be just enough. It be just enough to keep us around, okay? For some of you, the reason why this person can give you what you needed and deserve was because they was keeping secrets from you, okay? They were deceiving you. They was lying to you about something, okay? And they was keeping this big ass secret. And who I'm talking about for some of you, this is your soulmate. This is someone that you had a soul contract with where you and this person were supposed to be coming together and being together in this lifetime. So this means you and this person, you have a past life relationship, okay? This ain't the first time or this ain't the first lifetime you and this person that came together. Like, you've been chasing each other's soul. Y'all souls have been chasing, chasing each other for many lifetimes now, okay? It seems like the, the message is coming out of my, my mouth faster than I can get them out. <laughs> okay. So someone here also, I feel like whoever this person is that can't give you what you need, this is someone who really feels tied down, okay? They feel over, overwhelmed, they're stressed out, they're overloaded, and I feel like it has to do with this commitment. It has to do with this binding contract, and for some of you, this is a marriage here. Someone was in a binding contract, and this is one of the secrets they was keeping from you, that they had a whole other 
husband and wife. You know, but for some of you, shit, they weren't together together. You know, this is someone like, shit, they could have had separate houses. Or maybe they shared a house home. You know, but this wasn't a connection where they were always together. Like, this was their own and all situation they had with someone from their past. But see, they felt stuck. Whatever this was, they felt stuck. And, and spirit, I feel like, gave this person a time frame. Like, all right, you're going to have to go on and wrap this shit up. And see, this person just taking their time. They refused to wrap that shit up like spirit told them to. And now what they stress the hell out, trying to fight their way up out this shit and cannot. Okay, I feel like for some of you, that's their karma. Spirit shows them, spirit, I already showed them all this shit, but it was like they ain't want to believe that meat with grease. They ain't believe that shit was true. So they had to, you know what I'm saying, spirit had to make an example out this person. Okay, sometimes a hard head make a soft ass. And this person had to fall on their ass several times before they finally got their wake up call. Now, you and this person, y'all got a lot of history together, okay? Ancient history. Like I said, this is this past life history, okay? Some of you guys, you can have Egyptian ties, okay? That means like your ancestors. You have e Egyptian ancestors or Egyptian ties here. But this is a past life connection you have. Like I said, soulmate. Like you and this person have, like you have history with this person, but some of you guys, it's like ancient history. Like this is a past life connection okay and like i said some of you guys you can have egyptian ties okay you may need to i need to do an ancestry thing on mine because i used to keep hearing that a lot when i was uh doing my readings okay some of you guys you come from royalty okay because we got this birthright i'm gonna get over here to this car here in a second okay and see there was a, a ceremony scorpio everything that's coming to you scorpio this is a part of your birthright okay this is something your ancestors okay this is like a mystery to everybody else to see this, this was destined to happen, okay? This is a part of your bloodline because you come from royalty, okay? You come from a bloodline of kings and queens. So everything that you went through in your life, whether that shit was good or bad, okay? Probably mostly bad. But that was a part of you, you know, getting your wings. You had to go through these things. Because you, you was a very powerful person and spirit had a very powerful position. For you to play, okay? This is someone who is very obsessed, okay? They have an obsession with you, Scorpio. This ain't no healthy obsession they have, okay? Now, for some of you, you can have some un unhealthy obsessions right now. You can be, like, overindulging in sweets and shit right now, Scorpio. I know I have. Ooh, I've been fucking up on my little diet. Oh, my God. I was doing so good. I don't know exactly what's going on. I know that 12th half energy I had you, like, indecisive, overindulging, like, doing the absolute most, okay? So this could be you. Maybe it's something you're obsessing over right now. You're overindulging. Maybe something's on your mind. You know? We also have trapped, okay? Whoever this person is, I feel like they also feel trapped. They feel weighed down. Like somebody feel like, like this heavy weight, a heavy type of burden. And it's because they feel tricked, okay? Someone here feels tricked. Like everything they're going through, they feel like they got tricked into this situation. Like had they knew all this shit beforehand or been using their intuition, or listen to what spirit was trying to tell them beforehand, they wouldn't even went through this, okay? So somebody here feels trapped. They feel trapped as hell, okay? They feel like this is like a heavy burden. Like, all oh, this shit is just way too much. Like, why are they going through all this shit, you know? All right, now over here, Scorpio, remember I said something was a part of your bloodline, okay? Something was a part of your ancestry, like this past birthright, whatever it was, like your ancestors got together and was like, all right, we're going to choose. Scorpio, you're chosen. Thank you, Spirit. You're chosen. This is a part of your birthright. Whatever you're going to receive, whatever whatever success, whatever money, whatever your victory, achievements that you're going to have, this is a part of your birthright. But see, the thing about it, Scorpio, it's a lot of people over here that feel triggered by you, okay? They feel triggered by your name. Every time they hear your name, they trigger them. They're like, ooh, Mufasa. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> every time they say Scorpio name, like, ooh, move fast. Like, ooh, I hate this shit. Every time they see this car, every time they see somewhere you been or remember some shit, like, every fucking thing that you do triggers this person or these people, okay? And for some of you guys, they want retaliation. They like, shit, Scorpio don't deserve that shit. The fuck? This is people that want you to be punished. They want payback. They want revenge. Because everything that you do, your whole lifestyle, everything that's coming to you, Scorpio, is going to trigger them. Because look at this. You see this mountain? No, this person sitting on top of the mountain. So what that means, Scorpio? You have to climb that motherfucker to get on top, right? See, everybody going to feel like, Scorpio, like these victories and how you're going to be wearing your crown upright, okay? 
tilt it to the side, you know what I'm saying? You got a little thug and you whatnot. not. <laughs> but how that crown gonna be sitting high on your head, Scorpio? Man, this person don't, man, these people don't know, Scorpio, what you had to go through. This mountain, you had to climb this mountain to success. You had to climb the ladder. They don't know how many mountains. I don't know what the highest mountain is in the world, Scorpio. You had to climb 10 of them up, okay? But how how your life is so set up and how you just, like, everybody just going to feel like, man, the fuck, how, like, how did Scorpio get that shit? And they did not know all these mountains, all these hurdles, all these obstacles that you had to go through, okay? Just to receive this victory, just to, for you to even feel this sense of peace. Like, this person sitting up here like, oh, Lord Jesus. And it's what you do for work. This person got on a, a business suit. So it's how you handle your business. You always stand on business, Scorpio. You about your business. You about your paper. If it don't make dollars, then it don't make no damn sense to be engaged in some bullshit. We already done did that shit. Been there and done that. What's next? Okay. We done been low vibrational. We done been through that bullshit of dealing with everybody else hurting pain and not taking care of ourselves and all that shit. We had to focus on ourselves and work hard and set our goals. Okay. And we did that shit. And that's why this person up here celebrating, okay? And that's why people are going to be celebrating with you because you put in the time, you put in the energy, you had the dedication. You did that shit. You had the willpower. You know what I'm saying? To, to set a name for yourself, to make a name for yourself. And for some of you, this person, when they find out who the fuck you are, because they're going to come to some type of realization and realize they fucked up over real one. Like, damn. I really let Scorpio go. Like, had I known Scorpio was going to be this big, I would have did, right? But see, that was the thing they weren't supposed to know. See, a lot of us, we were destined for greatness. But see, our divine counterpart, our soulmate, this person that we had this soul contract with, and we were supposed to be coming together and do all this great shit with, see, they, it was hidden from them. They weren't supposed to know because, see, they would have chosen us. They would have did right. They would have made the right choice the first time. But see, spirit want this person to use their intuition. They want this person to go towards what they heart wanted. You know what I'm saying? Not going toward what they felt logically made sense. You know what I'm saying? They want this person to make a, a heart over head decision, not a head over heart decision. And see, they didn't do that. See, a lot of times, Scorpio, if we shown, okay, well, this person may fuck around and be somebody. Hell yeah, you were at right. Because you want to be a part of that success, right? You want to be able to ride that train, right? See, that's how most people think. But you was a diamond in the rough. It, it wasn't supposed to have been shown to this person. Then how fucking great that you were going to be. All these achievements and milestones that you was going to have and how people all around the world was going to be praising you. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't shown to them because Spirit wanted this person to use their intuition. They wanted them to listen to what the hell they were trying to tell them and let them lead and guide them. But see, this person, they had too much control. They wanted to be in control. And now every fucking thing that you do, Scorpio, down to your name, to your car, to the place that you live, baby. It's going to trigger the fuck out of this person and these people, okay? All right, y'all. So let's get the signs. Let's see exactly. Have we did the who did? I think I did the who did earlier. We'll do it again. Let's see who this, this reading is about, you guys. I love you, Scorpio. And if anything resonates with you at all times, please like the video and please subscribe if you have not and comment, okay? All right. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Who is this reading about? For my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios. I love you guys. Who is this for? Messages for my Scorpios. Who is this for? All right. Who is this for, Holy Spirit? All right. Damn, this came out early. One or two earrings. This could be a male, or this is a male who wears one or two earrings. All right. Someone who has a muscular chest. Who is this about? They jumping now, okay? Somebody who has pretty teeth. Who is this about, Holy Spirit? Who is this about? All right, we got natural hair, wave cap, and freckles. Some of these came out last time, too, so I don't know if I can shuffle good at these same damn cards, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. So let's get the signs. Let's see who this is about. You could be dealing with Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, Taurus. They can have those placements somewhere in their chart. Heavy Aquarius, Libra, Pisces. And we have Heavy Virgo, Cancer, and Leo. All right, you guys. I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.